Which Printify print provider really has the best quality prints? Let's find out. Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you're brand new here and we haven't met yet, my name's Kerry, I'm the founder of Shirt School and I created this channel to bring you the best strategy, secrets and hacks to grow your online t-shirt, apparel or print on demand business. I'm really excited about today's video because we're gonna be looking at five of the top print providers inside Printify. We're actually gonna open packages and look at the t-shirt quality, look at each one of them and then put them side by side so that you can see which print provider really has the best quality prints. If you're not familiar with Printify, they are one of the biggest print on demand companies in the world. They have more than 3 million people selling on their platform. They have a catalog of over 750 products and some of the best prices on the market. So they are one of the top dogs and that's why I'm really excited to actually look at what they have to offer. The way that fulfillment works inside Printify is that you get to choose the print provider that you want to print your items. You're not just limited to one fulfillment center or one factory. You can choose the company that you want to print your stuff inside Printify. This creates a marketplace where these companies are really competing for your business. And I think that's really cool. So it puts a lot of the power in your hands as the seller to pick whoever you wanna work with. So what I have today is I have five Bella and Canvas 3001 t-shirts and they're gonna be in the color white. And we have five different print providers that we have ordered t-shirts from. It's gonna be Monster Digital. We're gonna take a look at Demona T. We're gonna take a look at Swift POD. And then we also have Underground Threads and Awkward Styles. We have the exact same shirt and the exact same design from all five of these print providers. And I wanna start by looking at the pricing. We're gonna, we're mainly talking about quality today, but I think it's important for you to know the pricing as well because it can vary. Starting off with Awkward Styles here, it's gonna be coming in at $12.47. Underground Threads is gonna be coming in at $12.55. Going up to Swift POD, it's gonna be coming in at $10 even. Demona T is going to be coming in at $10.39. And lastly, Monster Digital is going to be coming in at $9.82. So right off the bat, Monster Digital is going to have the lowest pricing among these five print providers. So that's something to keep in mind as we're looking at the quality, because we want to see, does higher price really equate to better quality? We don't know. We'll find out. By the way, I want to say a huge thank you to Printify for sending me over these five t-shirts to review for you on the channel. So first, we're going to take a look at each of these prints one by one, and then I'll lay them all out and we'll look at them side by side. Let me know down in the comments which print is your favorite out of these five. I'd love to know what you're seeing. So we're starting off with underground threads, and this is the t-shirt you're going to see uh, from all of the print providers. So I'm going to give you just my thoughts. Uh, they're, you know, just my own thoughts on how this print looks. We're also going to look at the print location, if there's any imperfections, and just overall what the colors look like and the vibration. So this one, it looks really, really good. Again, this is underground threads. I think it looks awesome. Looking at the um, actual like uh, imperfections, if there's anything that I can see in that print, um, I don't see anything really offhand that uh, looks out of place or looks bad. As far as placement goes on this t-shirt, it's good placement. It looks straight. There's nothing really that I'm seeing here. And this is the first time seeing this t-shirt. So I haven't seen the other t-shirts. So it'll be interesting to compare them all side by side, see what the colors look like. But overall, I think this looks really good. Um, it's also, there's not much like texture on the print. So it's not, it's not like, you know, popping off. You're not feeling like the ink, I guess you could say. Uh, it feels really nice. And these are all going to be direct to garment printed. So DTG printed, they're all going to be the same printing technology. So we should get a really fair comparison. This is really good for the first one from underground threads. Here's the print from awkward styles. And this is what we got. Okay. So again, it's going to be really interesting to compare these because this one, the colors look very different. Uh, they definitely look more vibrant and, but they just look, they're just different overall. So we got a different, definitely a different color palette here than we saw on the first one, but looking at it, feeling it again, I'm not feeling the ink. It feels very good. This looks awesome. I'm not right off the bat seeing any imperfections in the, in the print. Uh, I don't see any like, uh, it just really any imperfections. I think that the, uh, location looks pretty good. It looks like maybe it's a little off to the right, just a little bit, like a little right of center. Now it's a hard thing to judge, but 
maybe just a little bit right of center, but overall the print quality is really good and it doesn't look like it's, looks like it's a good, good ways down from the, from the collar. So the colors look very different, but they, they do look really, really good, very vibrant. Uh, the only thing I would say about this one is just the, the placement looks a little funky. And again, that's hard to judge, but it looks a little bit off to the right. So that's awkward styles. Next up, we've got Swift P.O.D. So let's see what we got from Swift P.O.D. All right. So again, it looks really good, really good print quality here. Um, nothing right off the bat that I'm seeing that would say this is really bad. Like it looks really good. Uh, these are all the same t-shirt again. I mean, I think we know that by now, but um, you know, the only thing I'd say, I do see just a little bit of like, I'm seeing a little bit of white coming through. Like maybe the ink just isn't quite as thick. Uh, that's very subjective, but this one looks, looks really good. I mean, it, it looks good. I don't really see any imperfections other than just maybe the, the white kind of just peeking through a little bit. Like maybe just the ink isn't quite thick enough on that blue, but again, that's being super duper picky. I think this, this, uh, Color, again, looks really vibrant. It looks really good. Maybe not quite as vibrant as the Awkward Styles, but again, we got to put them side by side. Uh, this looks really good. Now, the placement on this one is looking more centered than the last one. It looks like it's very centered up. I think this is a solid print, solid um, sizing. I mean, everything looks good. Our next T-shirt is coming to us from Demona T. This is one I'm not familiar with. I don't think I've ever seen a T-shirt from Demona T. So I don't know if they're newer. I don't know much about them, but let's see what we've got from Demona T. All right, so right off the bat, the first thing I notice is the print is really small. So it's much smaller than the last one. So, you know, they printed it quite a bit smaller. It's a little bit closer, actually a lot closer to the collar, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. The colors look really good. Uh, I'm not, again, I'm not seeing like much imperfections. Honestly, so far, four out of five, like I'm pretty shocked at the quality. The quality has been solid, really good across all of these print providers. Um, but this one looks good. Again, I can't feel much ink. Uh, I'm not feeling, you know, any ink there. Uh, it feels, feels good. There's no imperfections. It's very centered. Uh, it looks to be centered and straight, uh, but it is small. That's the only thing I would say about this one. Our last tea is coming to us from Monster Digital. So let's see what we got from the lowest priced uh, among these five. They have the best pricing. So let's see what we got here. All right, so as you can see, this print is much bigger and I would say the colors are a little bit different. So we've seen a little bit of difference in the colors. The colors are very vibrant. Um, it looks really good. It's another really solid print. It's a lot bigger in the print, print size. And if we look at kind of the centering and try to get a good feel for that, it looks pretty centered. Nothing I would really point out. I think the only one out of the five uh, that was really maybe off centered was the awkward styles. It looked like it was over to the right and maybe slanted just a little bit, but this one looks pretty centered. I'm going to take a little bit closer look just to see if there's any imperfections in this one. I'm not seeing anything. Um, it looks, it looks really good. So I think this one's really solid. All right. So we've got all the t-shirts laid out on the table. Here's which ones are which up here in the top right corner. We have underground threads. Right here below that, we have Awkward Styles. Next to that, we have Swift P.O.D. Up here at the top, we have Demona T. And over here on the left, we have Monster Digital. I've done my best to cram all of these into the shot so that we can look at them all side by side. Uh, but let's, let me just give you my impressions of what I'm seeing here. The thing that is standing out the most is this one right up here in the top right. This is Underground Threads. And I think you'll be able to see on camera that this is the lightest color print of all of these maybe that's it's the thinnest ink or maybe you know the print heads need to be clean or whatever the case may be it still looks good and i think because it's side by side with these other prints that are much more vibrant we're noticing it more than we would if we were just looking at that t-shirt because when i just looked at the t-shirt i thought it was very good um, but looking at it in comparison to these you just see the colors are not as vibrant not even close it's just very light and uh, and the colors just they're just not bright they're just not it's not as colorful so that's underground threads right there. I think of all these, we can easily say this is the this is my least favorite up here at the top right. As far as the most vibrant one, I'm gonna have to give that to Monster Digital. Now it's very close uh, because all these look really good. But over here at Monster Digital, hopefully you can see it on camera, and I'll I'll put it right here in the middle. Um, these colors are definitely the the brightest and and most vibrant of all of them. Uh, I can see a difference in the orange when I'm looking at the the different oranges uh, and definitely in this rainbow. It's just the most vibrant. It is the nicest print 
out of all these and it's also a good size and i think it, it just looks really good so i would have to give monster digital probably the best print quality out of all these and next to that i think it's uh i think it's between awkward styles and demona t i think this one just looks a little less vibrant down here which is from swift pod but still really good i think these are just about tied to my eyes demona t up here and awkward styles down here those both look really good but i'd have to say my favorite is going to be monster digital and the least favorite is going to be underground threads so what did we learn today by looking at the top five print on demand companies print providers inside printify well, I think the biggest thing that I learned is that all of them have really good print quality, and I'm not just saying that. All five of the t-shirts we looked at today, they were all very nice print quality. The things that we could point out were that Underground Threads had the lightest print, it was the least vibrant print, Monster Digital had the most vibrant print, and then we saw that Awkward Styles was a little bit off-centered to the right, and those are the biggest things that stuck out to me. But that all being said, all these prints were very, very close, and I think if you go with any of these print providers, you're going to be very satisfied with the print quality overall. Now, keep in mind the color of your designs and the color of the t-shirt and the quality of cotton in the blank that you pick can all contribute to print quality. So what we've looked at today is a white t-shirt with a uh, array of colors and you know that produced this result with direct to garment so just keep in mind that different conditions and different types of cotton and different types of colors and all those kind of things can all make the prints look different uh, but i think this has been a really cool comparison today if you've enjoyed this video today and you want to try out printify to be your print on demand provider i want to invite you to use the link down in the description or go over to shirtschool.com printify Printify is completely free to use and you can tap into any of these print providers and start printing your orders and integrate them into your Shopify store with just a couple clicks. So use that link down in the description or go over to shirtschool.com slash printify to give them a try. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you soon.